Live now. Mark, Nigel. Absolutely extraordinary sight that we're seeing here with the naval ratings, 142 of them uh, pulling the gun carriage, carrying the coffin of the late monarch. This procession is broken down into seven different divisions, each with their own band right at the head of them, the mounted Metropolitan Police officers and the Royal Canadian Mounted Police. Uh, and then, as I say, militaries from the Commonwealth and from the UK. Nigel, it has been an extraordinary sight here, isn't mm. it? Because during the funeral service, uh, we have seen members of the household uh, division come up here to take the, their position for that march down here, that procession. Yes, I mean, we were here with the crowd and they played the service on loudspeakers very clearly. So we were taking part in a service and yet at the same time the preparations for the next stage were happening with the marching band, people going up to get the procession going up at the Abbey, but also I think the most extraordinary sight we saw were the staff, the household staff of Buckingham Palace, some in livery, some in chef's uniforms, all filing out. And they're in fact lining up now in front of Buckingham Palace to pay their last tributes to their boss. Yeah, I mean, that is absolutely an incredible shot. Hundreds of household staff mm. who would have been on duty last night for this big state reception, yes. who would have, of course, regularly, on a daily basis, worked for the monarch when she was in residence here in Buckingham Palace, now out to bid her final goodbye as she passes this palace that is so important to the British monarchy. Perhaps not their favourite palace, but certainly the most important. Well, symbolically, I think that's right. And the world, you know, when the world thinks of our royal family, it thinks of Buckingham Palace. I think before it thinks of Windsor, even. Um, so the scene is set here, and I have to say the crowd, I mean, they've been here since five o'clock in the morning, and yet they're all there very, very patiently. As I say, it was odd for us. On the one hand, the sombre service, but on the other, watching all of these extraordinary preparations. Well, th this is the thing. I mean, it is such a, a solemn and sad occasion, of course it is, but it's an am amazing spectacle that really only this country does as amazingly well as this. Well, I believe that too. And I think actually what we've learned in the last 10 days is that these traditions... Uh, that some would wish to decry as being outdated, as not being needed anymore. Actually, it isn't just the British people uh, that have embraced this in the last 10 days. As we relearn, or perhaps learn for the first time, what a constitutional monarchy actually is, the whole world is watching on with some certain sense of awe. And I think so fitting that it is the Royal Navy who are pulling that gun carriage. That is clearly an honour afforded to a state funeral and a monarch uh, that they will be pulled by Royal Navy oh, ratings. Yes. But given the Queen's links through her husband to the Royal Navy, the fact that she was the sponsor of HMS Queen Elizabeth, that huge mm. new aircraft carrier, so many of her family served in the Navy. Yes, and worth remembering historically, the Navy is the senior service. The Army may not like that, the RAF may not like that, but it is the senior service, so quite right and appropriate. And what an extraordinary display. And uh, I, I, I'm not sure how the crowd are going to react to this, whether they're going to bow their heads in silence or, or maybe there's an emotional relief and people start applauding. I just don't know, but it is a pretty astonishing spectacle. And we're told that the pace will be 75 paces per minute, the same pace that they took as they left Buckingham Palace to go to Westminster Hall uh, for the lying in state. That took them 38 minutes to do that particular journey. And Nigel, this journey now right up to Wellington Arch is going to be 45 minutes. Plenty of opportunity yes. for the crowds to see them. And then after that as well, as it's, the coffin is loaded onto the state hearse. Yeah.